In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a branches and berries decorated border design using the pointed pin. So I am going to use a green envelope, white ink, and then gold for the berries. So I'm going to go ahead and get my gold nice and moistened. It will have quite a few minutes to sit there and marinate a little bit. So I'll set that aside. And it's really pretty simple. So make sure that if you're using white ink, and let me emphasize, you don't have to use white ink. This would look great with any ink color, but I'm using white because I just like that wintry look. If you're using white ink, make sure that it is the consistency of heavy cream. So the type of cream that you would whip to make whipped cream. And what you're going to do is just start with a line, okay? And then from that line, draw other little lines. And when you can, try to pull in some of that good dip pin contrast. So apply some pressure to the nib to make strokes that have some variation. So right here, I'm going to make a thick stroke and then I'm making little lines coming off of that. So essentially we are making branch skeletons here and make sure when you are drawing these branches that you're going to have plenty of um, space and time, but mostly space to make some little leaves. So you don't want to pull up a line all the way to the edge of the page. Okay. And make sure that each branch kind of locks into the previous branch. So they're not connected, but it's this fluid line really, where you can't quite pick out the division if you're looking at it from a distance. Because we're making a border, right? So we want it to border the entire piece of paper. And I would make sure that you give a curve to every branch because in nature, branches are not completely straight. And then we make these little lines coming off of here curvy as well. They will have the leaves connected to them. Let's go ahead and speed up this video for this part because I think that you get what I'm doing. Okay, once you've got all these branches and lines drawn, it's time to add in some leaves. So, you know, just think a leaf shape, like, a, like an almond shape almost. And we're just going to hug the end of the branch shape. So we're not going to touch it, just give it a little, you know, like encase it. Because, here's why, I want that little twig that's coming off of the branch to also stand in as the vein in the middle of the leaf. So just keep on doing that. Again, try to give the leaves some stroke variation. So when you pull down on the pin, apply pressure on that down stroke so that one side of the leaf is thicker than the other which gives it some visual interest because that thicker part is going to almost imply a shadow on the leaf. And just keep on going around the border until all of those twigs have leaves. Now 
Now, once you've got all of your leaves, which I see that I just missed one. Oh, hold on one sec. There we go. Any others? I'm taking a quick look, not seeing anything. Okay, so then you can get rid of your pointed pen. And now it's time to add in some berries or lights, however you want to think of these. So I've had this water on my gold watercolor paint for a while. I'm just stirring it in. Again, getting a heavy whipping cream sort of consistency because we want this to be nice and opaque. And then what you're going to do is just add in various sizes of circles throughout the border. So I would encourage you to vary the color of the calligraphy ink that you use, but as far as these berries go, what I would say is gold is always a safe bet because it communicates lights, you know, like twinkling lights. Silver would be good too. Or if you wanted to, you could do a red, like a watercolor red. So you really do have these looking like berries. But the whole goal here is to make this border more festive. And to me, it looks like a pretty holiday border. So this would be great for Christmas cards, or even if you're not in the Christmas season, it's just a nice sort of wintry feel if you use this color scheme. The nice thing about this is these branches are more of like summer branches, they're deciduous, so you could absolutely use it in the summer, just maybe with a different, more spring-like, summer-like color scheme. So it'd be really pretty, actually, if you did some watercolor calligraphy. So you could do the branches in brown, and it would be nice because with watercolor calligraphy, if you use it with brown watercolor, you're going to have different variations of brown in the twigs, just like we do in real life. And then you could paint in the branches. And then I'd still do gold for the dots. You really just can't go wrong with adding some gold to a project. All right, last side. I'm feeling proud of myself because I've managed not to smudge anything. The ultimate challenge in any border that you're making, if you're using a pointed pen or watercolor, is not to smudge what you've already done because you have potential, potential smudge incidents on all sides of the page. Okay. Okay, so there you have the branches and berries decorated border tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this simple tutorial and that you feel free to modify it when you decide to try it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.